Hey, welcome back. So this is gonna be my first, uh, I don't wanna call it a review, but just more of a show and tell of something other than a flashlight. So this is my uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, the Blade Ops, which is the Emerson Wave. Um, I haven't seen too many videos on it, so I figured I'd show you guys videos in case you guys were interested in one and wanted to see some close-ups or something, so here it is. This is the obviously the coded blade version, the DLC. Um, I have the MXG clip on it. I love these uh, the straight clip on it. I have them on on all of my pretty much all spider coils actually. So I guess we could take a look at the differences. Um, biggest thing would be the blade thickness and look at how <clears throat> the brown one fits inside you have so much more um, space on the sides between the blade and, and the and the uh, and the liners or, or the actual scales Good look at that. So that's that's probably besides the aesthetics of the of the wave, the biggest difference. The the blade stays thick all the way throughout, right up until the tip. So I know a lot of people um, may have broken uh, perhaps the tips on their paramilitary twos or even para threes. Um, I, I don't really see you I mean I'm, I'm I'm sure you can break the tip on it you know but it's you'd have to physically be trying really hard uh, uh, come on sorry the focus is just not working today It's a saber ground, I believe. Not obviously the full flag because it's not the regular blade. It is a lot heavier. It's it's noticeable when you flip the blade out. It's noticeably heavier <clears throat> than the, than the regular ones. But everything else is the same. The spider hole is in the same place. The length is in the same place. Um, Again, just the, the only difference is this one has the cutout to grab onto your jeans, which it does work. Um, what it is, is if you have it, you know, if you have it in your pocket, as soon as you go to pull it out, it grabs on and it deploys on its own. That, I think um, they do it on some of the backlock models from, from Japan, like the Delica and, and some of the other ones. It, I'm sure it works just fine, but everyone knows how easy it is to flick these out, the paramilitaries, because of the compression locks. I think it really suits the compression lock really well because it just flips out super easy. Um, you should have no issues, you know, deploying it in a, if you know, you know, if you get in a, in a bad situation. So, I it's a good combination with this lock, I believe. Let's see what else can I show you guys. Oh, so this is my second one. My first one that I got from Blade Ops, the centering on it was off to the point that it was rubbing one side. Um, now, I know the blade is thicker than normal, so I would have been okay with it had this been a $60, $70 knife. But when you're spending um, this kind of money, you know, so I sent them back and then they sent me an email saying that they were going to look through their inventory, physically open up a box and sent me one that was um, centered correctly. And they did. This one is perfect. So thank you, Blade Ops. Um, you know, you guys, you know, you guys made it right. And uh, and I, I love, I love the knife. I absolutely love the knife. Again, it's on an MXG clip. I really think uh, 
it holds well it's got good tension it's not you know titanium tension isn't the same as steel tension with steel clip but it's fine um it's deep enough to be deep but then you still have a little bit sticky enough for you to grab onto i really like it um let's see any differences yeah i think that's the only, those those are really the only main differences between between that and a regular paramilitary too so if you guys have any questions or any comments likes dislikes anything else you want to see on it let me know and i'll try to do my best Have a good one.